Yeah, I guess all the top players are playing. So, let's commentate by myself. Oh. Interesting forward smash. Nobody gets that one. Oh. Maybe that's the matchup. I actually have never seen uh, Marth, Marth Ices. At least not for a while. Maybe like Mewtwo can shoot at, but uh, never in Toronto. It's just not happening. It looks like forward smash is like really effective. He's gonna do it again. Oh no! These platforms are perfect for forward smashes. Really trying to take out Nana. Smart strat. There it is. But I'm probably just going to forward smash him again at some point. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I meant. I meant the Ice is just going to forward smash. Vibration has the lead, but you can never really have a lead against the Ice Climbers. <laughs> He's one grab up right now. That's it. Ooh. Alright. Nothing too fancy. Got throw. Forward smash. Alright. Just... Did a great job just like ranging out the Ice Climbers. It's Nana, wow. He's dead though. Right. <laughs> One too many spot dodges. I like it though. Keep forward smashing him. Sopo's recovery is like really bad. Oh, we got behind him though. We can get one more. No, that's it. Alright. I see sync up so that Nana doesn't taunt for some reason. Oh, that, you never grabbed the ice climbers. So Nana's just gonna hurt you. It's interesting that we're not seeing any handoffs or wobbles or anything. He's going straight. Oh, he got bopped. He got bobbed. Yeah, I'm gonna call this an upset. Uh, vibration takes it. I'm gonna call it upset, and I'm hyped for that. I also enjoy watching guys climbers lose. Not that I'm biased here. I'm, uh, I don't know. I see what Bobo can do. Looks like... Oh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough without Nana. Oh, especially if he's getting tippered. Alright, this should be it. Darum? Let's get a bump from Darum. Right, that's safe. Let me just hit him. Yep. Right. I think this is top eight. I think that's how they structure the tournament now. It's all their stream matches are top eight. So it's a best of five. So we're going to see FD. Class, the only stage Ice Climbers ever wants to play them. Yep. Alright. Let's see what Bubble can do on his counter pick. It's the biggest lead he's had uh, all set. It's a nice little decent. from the Marth, you just like fair out of there. <laughs> oh. Alright, some ledge stalls from the Marth. Marth, not the best character to do that with. 
quickly gets grabbed and dispensed with. But... Badly spaced down tilt. Uh, it probably wasn't worth. Like, vibration should pick up by, on by now that Mofelt's not going for the wobbles. Like, he definitely has them in his arsenal. He's just, I don't know, it's a weekly. Like, you really want to win a weekly that bad that you wobble? I respect this play a lot. Like, like gets down. Being above Marth is really scary on this stage because there's no platforms, right? So it's just like, oh my god, you're a turtle on your back. It's just please, Marth. Whiff. Right? Yeah. And it's back, that's a game changer. Because of that. This grab punch is so strong with ICs. Even without the wobble, it's just like. It's, it's, it's just doubles. <laughs> okay, I like that. Oh, Phantom. Phantom shield pokes down to gets grabbed. It's quick to find someone. Up. You got it. All right. Tell me what's happening here. All right. Uh, uh, they're now tied 1-1. I'm guessing. Yeah, I think they traded three stocks back and forth. I'm pretty sure it was actually a two stock game one, but uh, both convincing victories for uh, each player. Okay. And was Vibration playing Marth game one? Yes. Yeah, okay. All Marth. True. Uh, Belt, no wobbles so far. Like intentionally, or he just hasn't gotten any? It's intentionally, definitely. He's gotten a lot of grabs. Does he go for like swaggy handoffs, or like? No, that's the part that pisses me off. Is like, he's not being lame, but he's not being cool okay, enough. Okay, and now he's playing dog. This yeah. is uh, this will be interesting. I guess it's a bad stage for Ices. Uh, this is usually where I end up striking with them. I don't know if it's bad enough where you switch to a dog second yeah, area. Yeah. Um, I've been told this matchup is actually pretty, like, ridiculously bad for Doc. Is it? Yeah, I hear it's one of his worst, like, uh, top tier matchups. Because, like, on Cheek he has chain grabs, and, like, he has stuff on Cheek, and then on uh -huh. Spaces he has chain grabs. That's your frame of reference for every matchup. It's like, do, do, they, do they have a chain grab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but I actually think it's a decent matchup for uh, oh, I think Doc. it's out of the top four, I think it's probably. Well, maybe Falco is worse. I don't know. Sometimes I play uh, regular Mario versus Marth, and I think it's very doable. I mean, like, it can kind of be hard to get in just because of uh, Marth's reach. But, like, the edge guards are there, the combos are decent. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. I feel like this is fine if Bullville wins, but if he loses, then, like, it was kind of a troll pick. <laughs> That's literally whether or not this is disrespect is determined by how he does in this game. Oh, he dafted him. Yeah, that, that, that was good. Um, I've been told that pills are really important in this matchup. Oh, um, they're so possibly the best projectile. They're definitely not. They don't cancel upon landing. D they're just so annoying, though. Well, they are annoying. Yeah, if they if, if they land canceled, like landing canceled, they uh, would probably be among the best. Okay, I can see why that'd be important. Just because of the way they bounce. But, like, they're just so laggy, though. Yeah. I guess, I guess they're the best... Uh, the best and bad projectile. Certain ranges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When certain ranges. Yeah, yeah. When you're safe, you, you, they're pretty good. You don't good. want to approach with them. No. But like, if your opponent's like not quite spacing you out properly, you just oh, oh. great. And that didn't even trade. Like he, he would have been fine with that. Mm -hmm. It's just good. Fox got a great back air. So all those all those years spent toiling away. I wonder if this is like something that Bullvout actually like labs, because like presumably Marth is not the worst Icy's matchup. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, the way you were hit first two games, the way Vibration was playing, it was like... It was tough? Uh, 
It was definitely doable, but like he was like forward smash and Nana was getting like hit all the time. Okay, well it'll be really interesting to see what happens if Bullvelt wins this game where they go for game four. Uh, because I mean right. Bullvelt still has Dreamland, right? That's a oh, that's a pretty good counter pick. Uh, he's always running back here with his dock. Oh, okay. Yeah, but like if if he does manage to steal the counter pick back with Doc, that's pretty like good. When your secondary steals you the counter pick, well, he's up now. He's definitely uh, definitely yeah, this the is, top. This is definitely top good. Seed of these two. Um, and I think like I'm not sure, but I think Doc might actually have kill confirms at this percent off a of down throw. Like if you down throw, you can probably like fair or like I don't know, off air. Yeah, probably. Oh, good coach. Uh, that was. He definitely has it against spaces. Probably not at this percent versus Marth. You don't think so off down throw? Marth's maybe. pretty floaty. Yeah, yeah, maybe not, maybe not. You might have had it up to 80. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, up B, sure. It's got great priority. Oh, that was an oof. <laughs> an upward angle forward turn. Uh huh. I'm glad you got that the first time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is, that, is that something people say, or are you just an so smart? No, daft. Know. Oh, yeah, daft actually says that. People say that. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I guess it's pretty intuitive. Anyway, uh, Marth's in the corner. Yeah. Uh -huh. good, good job by Bullvelt of not getting hit by their NDF smashes. Mm -hmm. It's like, it can be really frustrating when you <laughs> when you give the Marth too much respect and you're like, I don't think you're going to do a scrubby F smash here, and they do when you die. It's oh. like, all right, well. That, w that was like game one. There's so yeah. many F smashes. Okay, so he's still in this. Like, one yeah. gr one grab into a Randy Tipper could win him this game. Like, uh, oh. so that's gonna do it. Yeah. Doc's down smash comes out so fast. Yeah. So let's see. Where did they play game one? Uh, Battlefield. Okay. So I think we're probably seeing Yoshi's here. Yeah. It's a uh, two-one for Bulldog. Yeah. So we'll probably see Yoshi's here. Is what I would imagine. Uh, where Marth wants. Oh no, he's switching. This is. Uh, okay. I don't approve. Of okay. Well, I guess on Yoshi's it's not as big of a deal because you're gonna be able to get out of the chain grab at pretty low percents. Mm -hmm. But uh, I actually think that Marth has a better time versus I Doc don't think we're going to see any chain grabs. Eh, well, I guess if he's not wobbling. All right, take some money. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. That was, that was good. Like, you can't ask for more than that. 20 to death? That was nuts. All right, he backers out of there. Out of, out of that situation. But, uh, yeah, you know a lot about vibration? Um, not a whole lot. I just know he plays a lot of different characters. Okay. He, he has a Marth. I think Marth and Sheik are his like dual mains, mm -hmm. or maybe Sheik is even a secondary. I'm not sure. He also has a Falcon. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he had a Fox. <laughs> All dual mains yeah, have a, Foxes. Yeah. I mean, literally everybody has a Fox. You can't you can't play melee without having a Fox secondary. Not me. Yeah. Okay. You have a Falco though. So. Anyway. Okay. Getting back to the match, uh, this right. is looking okay for Vibration despite a bit of a rocky start. Uh, he's like held it together very well on this stock. He's got the lead here now, yeah. but oh yeah, it's a kill. Um, if Doc can't find grabs in this matchup, it, that's when it looks really bad. Um, he does have like a nice like kind of soft combo game on Cheek, where like he gets the soft hits and then he ends it with a down smash like that. Uh, but what you really want, you want the meaty grabs, especially low percent. I don't know, Doc's character can get it done without it. Good. Great smash is his cape. Yeah, the cape is actually not super good against Sheik. It's, really? It's pretty rare that you get to kill her with cape. Whereas, like, versus, like, Spacey's. Well, Spacey's is, like, the prime yeah, Against, cape against Marth, too. Marth has the sweet spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, but the thing is, is, like, you don't have to cape Sheik because you just grab ledge, wait for it to land on stage in the Punisher. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. Uh, a lot of use of dash attack by Bullvel, which is fine. It's but, like, interesting. I've never seen Docs uh, you, utilize that. Move. You can you can crouch cancel it up until like well, at least 115 percent. Really? We, we saw that in the previous game. Okay. Um, and then like maybe ASDI down to like 80 or something. I'm not sure. That might be too high. Yeah, I think it's 60. Yeah, 60 something like that. So that's like it's pretty situational and neutral. It looks like it's got decent follow-up stuff. So. <laughs> like at this point, vibration is kind of just like spamming smash attacks because he knows like the first one that hits wins in the game. Yeah, and there it is. That's gonna do it. So he's got the counter pick. He can change characters if he wants. I don't think he will. Uh, depends on what the. C it's probably gonna be Dreamland. I think Dreamland is just the right choice. He can't go back to FT. 
Um, and if he stays Doc, Doc versus Sheik on Dreamland is great. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, if he counterpicks Dreamland, Vibration is less likely to go back to Marth. Um, and if he did, does go back to Marth, well, you're fighting Marth on Dreamland. So that's yeah. the, literally the best you could hope for. Probably a better matchup for Doc, too. Yeah. Uh, Doc doesn't mind Dreamland. He's got pretty good horizontal recovery. You DI to the top corner every time, and you kind of just drift back. And he's li heavy. Li live till pretty high percent. He's heavy enough, and he's better at edge guarding than most characters. Yeah. So. These guys thinking it over. Yeah. They don't want to make any rash decisions. Um, vibration, I guess. So no bans. So actually, he's deciding on whether or not he wants to switch characters. All right. He and goes with the safe Well, bet. Okay, so Vibration must already be locked in because Volvelt has switched Ices. So there, it seems like there may, may have been a bit of confusion there. Um, yeah, so he's going to pick Marth. And, okay, we are going to see Ice Climbers. From, they laugh. And oh, some, Stadium. Something happened. Okay, so that's why there was a bit of confusion was because he didn't go Dreamland like I expected him to. This is... This is probably okay. Probably Icy's uh, third best, either third or second best stage in the matchup after FD. Because like, what would somebody be the second? Dreamland. Dreamland. Yeah, uh, I think Marth actually does Marth. okay versus Icy's particularly on Dreamland. Because like, but this is pretty much uh, FD with like two little platforms. Yeah, the platforms matter though, especially for Marth that has such a like uh, big disjoint. You can like shield drop pretty safely through the side platforms uh -huh. anytime they come anywhere near you. Can't the ICs just reach with these like so easily? What do you mean? I mean like uh, like ICs can put Marth on the platform too. Yeah, and but like if they get under you, you just like shield and you just try to scramble and reset. Um, and like anytime they jump while they're not under the platform, you just like shield drop and fair. Um, oh. I think it's actually during the transitions, like where they're, the platforms are going down and there's no platforms, that's when Icy's are really dangerous here, especially against Marth. Uh, triple fair. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of yeah. neutral DI there. Alright, Windmill coming into play. We can see some talk cancels. <laughs> no. Oh. That was ballsy, just going straight at him. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, it worked, like, he didn't die. Yeah. Makes it very hard to space the timber. <laughs> uh, so that's unfortunate for Ices, they would have liked yeah. a stronger hit there. But, like, you, you take at it. At that I guess. percent, it's like, whatever. Yeah. Good desyncs. I think, like, having good desyncs for Ices is so important. Oh, like, it's, it's of, everything. Of course, you don't want to put Nana out there too much, because when you lose Nana, like, you become a mid tier. If not a low tier. But the thing is, is like, how do you get in on some characters without the decents? Uh, Icy's got okay movement, but you're right, it's a hell of a drop off. Yeah, I think the, de the decents become less important on FD. Yeah. Um, oh, but, yeah, it's that yeah. So, this is still okay for Bullvelt. Uh huh. Yeah, he's got the Sopo. He's a decent, uh, decent percent. If I were him, I would just be tr like aiming for at least 30 to 40 percent here. Yeah, nice recovery. Mm -hmm. Because like that's the percentage where if you get a grab on your next stock, it's more it, like it's much easier to convert a wobble. Although he hasn't really been going for them, has he? Nope. Yeah, so I guess it doesn't really matter quite as much. Well, I think percent always matters. Oh yeah, of course. Like if he could just get him to the percent where like a Randy down smash would set up an edge guard, yeah. like sixty percent, that'd be great too. Because every every ice climber wants a good sopo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was tricky. There's not much he can do. Sopo's recovery is so unfortunate. Yeah. Alright, trades with the back air, Marth. Yeah. He had to like up the early because the ICs were coming in. Yeah, so still. Still no wobble. He doesn't have a jump. Oh, that oh. was actually the best possible thing he could have hoped for. I guess you can't control Nana when you're on the ledge. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I, I don't know how ICs work, but I know you have to be within a certain proximity. Sure. Yeah. Camping. Yep. So this is like when it's slow and nice. Is really scary here. Yeah. yeah. See the forward smash. He just hits Nana. Yeah. That was game one. Like he literally just ran up and like smashed and Ice just couldn't really get anything off of it. We might see a couple more. Uh, this is okay. Go, he's gonna go for the back air. Mm, looks like maybe he went for a wave land down smash. Um, which I think would have been good, but he whiffed. Oh, how did that not hit? Yeah. Another, yeah, I think another really nice thing for Marth in this matchup is anytime you like confirm uh, fair, you can kind of just F smash for free. Just get like a nice little goodie basket. Oh, 
Why the jab? Uh, to be fair, I actually don't think he was at the point where, like, he could have down smashed in time. I think he might have been able to shield. I don't know. Oh. I feel like I feel like he definitely could. Yeah. It wasn't like the best wave dash, so maybe that's why he, ja he jabbed. Could be, yeah. But it's definitely possible. So. I also just think that there's like a built-in compulsion in yeah. IC's players to like wave dash forward <laughs> jab. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> it's got pretty high reward <laughs> a lot of the time. Alright, oh yeah, he tries going at him again. Uh, this ball, I feel like it's got that's got like a 50% chance of working. Yeah, it depends on whether or not they read it. But like sometimes it's hard to space around it because you can also pull back. Uh -huh. um, I think what's really bad about the Squall Hammer is like if you have to fade all the way in, at the end, you lose like all of your drift. So it becomes very easy to predict where you're going to be. Oh, mana. Yeah, yeah, but if you're going in, you're going for the hit. Yeah, that's true. All right, so this is kind of nerve-wracking for Vibration. Um, it's always scary to face two ice climbers. Like what I don't like about this situation is like Volvelt hasn't been wobbling. Oh, oh. Yeah. frig! Yeah, that's unfortunate. Did, he, did Vibration pop off or was he like remorseful? I, I didn't see the player cam because he definitely like hopped up. But I don't know if it was in celebration or disappointment. Yeah, I don't know. I looked at the player cam when it was over and he was gone. Uh, so he's getting some hugs.